Hi everyone, this is Legendary Eye back again with more. This time I'm just going to talk about the, the, the Beyblade pin modification tips that I use in Beyblade TLR the series. Which I'm not going to spoil anything, but those are just two in the series. So, first off, we have this special tip. Which I got two videos. Two videos so I could talk about two different tips. And this one is Cyclone Lyra with this special tip. And it's basically a metal flat but stuck together, you know, pin, pin part stuck together with putty, with that office putty. And that is just the strongest thing that I can think of other than super glue. So. So, you know, I'm not going to hot glue it, because I might end up taking it off later on. But it's just, it's just one of the stickiest things that I've ever seen stuck, stick to anything. If you stick it to the wall, then it'll just, they'll just take off part of the wall. That, that just shows you how powerful that is. And now, we got to test it out, right? So, let's test it out on... This one, which is Storm Eonis. Let's go. Which is not used to TL on the series one. This is gonna be my launcher sap. So, three, two, one. Let it See how it's just going around like that? It's good, but. But you know, the, the tip is kind of hitting the side of the arena. And whenever it tilts a little bit, when it tilts to, to a certain degree, then it'll just, then it'll just start acting a little bit crazier, but, but it holds pretty well. It's been, but just to remind you, this tack has been on that Beyblade for days and hours and hours and hours. And usually whenever you have the tack on a certain surface and it's exposed to air, then it'll just eventually begin to, to get a little bit harder and then, I mean, it'll still work when you start messing with it again. But this is just a good Beyblade. And, you know, it's, it's barely, it's barely hanging in the balance. So, as you see, there's a little bit of the tip that's showing through. That, that's all that you see, you don't... See, it's a good... Let's just try and do a special shot. See, see if you do it a certain way, then you can actually start with a flower pattern, and then you can just start attacking people with a flower. With a flower pattern. See, see, this is good for if you're trying to trying to do the flower pattern attack. It's probably the best pin modification ever. For, you know, pin modification part. But, but since I'm not going to do two videos, I'm just going to go into this one. Which is, um, Evil, Evil Kronos, or Killer Pisces. I mean, you know, Killer Kronos, because Killer is Japanese for evil. Um, I'm not really sure how is that translation even accurate, but, eh, I guess. Like, like instead of calling them Valkyrie, they might, they might call them Volkyrie. I don't know. You'll mess with me. So, so this one is another pin modification. Which is, as in the M145, which people say that it's a horrible track. Well, it's great for attack, so let's try it out. That is probably one of the quickest things I've ever seen in my life. That was probably the, the quickest kill yourself. Beyblade I've ever seen in my life. I mean, it's not literally killing itself, but it's more like, it's more like, I'm gonna lose. 
I'm gonna just lose on purpose, kind of Beyblade. That's probably why people don't like it. So, see, see how it goes around. It goes around in circles when when the um when the tip isn't changed, when the mode isn't changed. That that's how it acts. It just goes around in circles and circles and circles and circles. And then it's just, it's just like that. See? It's just like that. But then, that was the mode that I was in. And if you switch it to that, then that's a crazier mode. But, this is the mode that I like. So, overall, I really like both of these tips. Because of how, how they actually work with the Beyblades. They work... With the Beyblade is pretty good, I do have to say. But, but the real question is, which one is better? And the only way they can figure out which one is better is in the Beyblade battle. So, I'm gonna just say Five Years Dragon is, which is a Beyblade from the TLI of the series one. And this one's a taller tip, so I'm gonna use a taller one. Because, because I have like a 90 track look look at that Beyblade that that's just so it's, it's still short it's still short after after that modification it's still short and this one goes with Storm Eonis not really but let me just put my Storm Eonis that's a little bit of a taller Beyblade now let's battle 3, 2, 1 Go shoot and do it. Pretty crazy Beyblade battle. See? As you customize, you get a berry Beyblade. But look at that. That looks so cool. Let me show you. Look at that. Doesn't that look like it's from the show? It looks like it was from the Beyblade TV show or something. That's just pretty epic. Like it's just, like it's just a dialing clock or something. Just, just spinning around, spinning around, spinning around. But let's go on to round two. Three, two, one. Oh, that was that was just a tie. That was a lucky tie. I mean that. That was kind of weak, but it was still time. Round three. Whoa! It, it really should have saw that, but I'm, I'm not even sure who won. Round three. Round four! <laughs> Round four. That, that, was, that was really... I don't even know. Find around. Winner takes all. Round five. Go shoot. Go shoot. Winner is Fire Fuse Dragonus. And that's probably one of the best Beyblades that you can ever choose. Ever. Fire Fuse Dragonus. It's a great Beyblade. I recommend that one. The Beyblade combo they should use. With that, with that 90 track and a wide flat tip, then you're definitely good. If you're a good Beyblade, that is. I'm pretty sure it would, would also work better if it was, uh, you know, the Japanese one, the Japanese Five Fuse one. So, hopefully, you like this video. Uh, I just, I just hope you like the video. So, like if you want, favorite if you want, and subscribe for more awesomeness. See you next time. Bye, and you're proven to be legendary.